In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the seam concept or the six concept, also known as four verticals, one of the best passing concepts year after year. And it is absolutely a critical passing concept for you to know and have in your offense this year. It's really, really good against zone coverage. And it does pretty decent against man this year in a lot of different ways. And uh, out of bunch offset, we're going to show it to you. We're in the Colts playbook today. If you want to get my entire uh, indie bunch offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link's going to be in the description below. Um, so really excited about this specific concept. I call it seams because we're going to be attacking the seams. Now you can do this out of any formation in the game. Any formation in the game, you can run this concept out of it. Um, but the way we're going to run this one is with bunch and we're going to take a look at verts halfback under. Verts halfback under. Now we're only going to make one adjustment to this play. We're going to snap this ball as quickly as we can. We're going to put our running back on a streak and snap the ball. If it is man coverage and they are not playing shaded underneath man, then you are going to see that off rip. They're going to get that little quick animation right there. Uh, and you can throw this ball to CeeDee Lamb. I'll show it to you again. Literally, you're just going to look out here. If you see they just back off like that, you're going to pass lead that free form it to the outside. And as you can see, this becomes a very good man beater. Now, what this does is this is going to force your opponent to have to basically play two man under against verticals. It's the only defense that they can really run to stop that. And so then what you're going to be able to see here is now you're going to have this high ball to your tight end that you can ag in the seam right there. Now, I'm going to show you um, how to run a good defense against this. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a cover two man out of three, three cubs. So the user's free in the middle of the field. Now, if you watch how this works again, same basic principle. If you watch this tight end route, you see now he's going to be covered. Everything is covered for the most part. Now, if you get that kind of uh, defense, that's the best and only defense that will consistently stop that concept. So how do you attack a defense like that? Well, I'm glad that you asked. The best way to attack that defense is to take your slot receiver here, Brown, and put him on a slot apprentice post. Now, you're still going to utilize your running back on a wheel or a streak. And what you'll notice now is that if they run that shaded down man, you're going to try to hit that post route in the middle of the field. Now, again, you don't have to run a post if you think your crosser is going to consistently beat man. In this year's game, crossers, they just aren't as good as they've been in years past, okay? But if your crosser can beat man, what you're going to see here is he's going to get that separation right in the middle field, and you're going to try to squeeze it into that little pocket. Now, again, that's the only defense in the game that is going to stop, um, that is going to stop this concept. Now, I'll show you one other thing with this defense, and that is this adjustment. So... Uh, I'll talk about zone in just a second, but I want to talk about cover two man for just one more one more moment. What you're going to see is if they are in cover two man, this wheel route to the back, you're going to high ball and free form it up into the outside. As you can see, you can actually throw that against main coverage. So if you're getting a lot of shaded down man and you absolutely have to run the six concept or the four verticals concept, what you want to be doing is you really want to be either utilizing a wheel route or... Another route you can use is take that solo receiver and we're going to put him on a C route uh, paired with that wheel route and have a chance to hit that as well, right? But really, if you're getting a bunch of cover two man shaded down, uh, that's out of 3-3 three, three Cub, which is the only cover two man that I'm aware of where they're actually going to be able to stop the tight end uh, as well because then what we'll get into is then what you want to do is just, uh, again, here, if you watch, I can highball this tight end and right there, he guards it, but he doesn't always guard that uh, from other formations. Let me show you. If I run cover two man out of uh, this formation, this is the same exact version. Uh, but now what you're going to notice here is this tight end route will oftentimes, you know, get into a soft spot against this route. Now, another thing you can do is if they're running, uh, if they're running cover two man a lot, um, Basically, you're going to get a coverage that kind of looks like this. 
Um, this guy's going to be more so in a purple. He's not actually going to be in a deep half. He's going to be in an outside third. That's what most people do. What you'll notice is this tight end route can actually basically just be free formed and high pointed up and over the top of the main coverage. Or you could just streak your right, your tight end. So there's numerous things you can do if they are shading down um, in main coverage. But if they're not, if they're not shading down in main coverage, then please take this flat throw right here. You have to force them to respect that. And the only way they can really stop that is by either playing zone coverage or by playing shaded down man. Now, if they go to zone coverage, this is where the seams really start to open up for us. What you're going to notice is that route's going to pull out zones, and you're going to basically be able to high point that tight end route right in that soft spot between the flat zone and the deep blue zone. So whether it be cover three, cover four, or the only zone that I know of that really hangs with it at all is actually cover two. But what you'll see here is you'll also notice that my crosser kind of gets wide open in the middle of the field. Now, what happens if they go guard the crosser um, defensively? Well, what you're going to notice here is if they go guard the crosser, right, with their user, they just run to the right in general, hard flats are not going to guard this seam wheel uh, or this seam streak. So you're just going to wait on this seam streak, and you see that that's going to get in a soft spot as well. So zone coverage really struggles against this concept. One of the best um, ways to stop sideline floods in this game is to utilize a cover two Mabel. But the beauty of this play is if you have, that's a drop eight cover, so chances are you're gonna have time, he's gonna clear that that cloud, and then you can basically throw that up and over the top of that defense. So again, you see how this verticals play really breaks down zone in a lot of different ways. Um, another popular zone defense is this right here, where we're gonna basically play a what's known as a cover three uh, Mabel type zone, which is designed to stop any kind of, you know, sideline flood concepts. And what you'll see here is you see how that tight end is getting in that soft spot in the seam. That's why I call it seams. You can also call this uh, six. It's also known as four verticals, right? So you see there, it literally doesn't matter what zone we play, um, we're going to have a pretty good time uh, with this play against zone coverage. Now, if you do get cover four, another little pro tip is you can motion this guy out. And a lot of times what you can do is just snap, throw him out there and force them to have to play cover two or man coverage. So if they're playing a lot of cover four, cover three, you also have that um, feature. This year's game, zones are just terrible at getting to the sideline. Um, and that's why this play is so dang good uh, and so effective. Also, please don't sleep on the crosser and please don't sleep on your running back. This seams play is absolutely critical. Now, how can you run the seam play? There's other ways to run it. So another way to run the seams play is to use a seam wheel to the running back. And then we're going to use an out route to Michael Thomas. What I like to do if I'm going to do that is then I'm going to take Brown here. I'm going to put him on that slot apprentice post and we're going to motion him across because now we're going to be able to attack the seams on both sides of the field and we're going to be able to attack the um, middle of the field with that little crosser. So you see how this concept is really, really good against zone coverage, right? So that's how you run the seams concept uh, out of this. You can do stuff like this if you want. I think this is actually not a terrible concept by any means here. This is just taking advantage of the wheels on both sides. And then you also have your slot apprentice post for man-to-man -man coverage situations. So that's how I like to attack the seams out of bunch. I think every offense needs a concept that they're going to run to attack the seams, often using either seam streaks or seam wheels, right? What is your seams plan? You need to have a concept like that in your offense. This is mine out of bunch. A lot of people really like four verticals for zone. I think it's absolutely incredible to get zone because it just comes down to both seams are going to be wide open for you. So if you want to learn more about the bunch offense, make sure you join the Patreon. I've got several different eBooks teaching a lot of different variations of gun bunch this year. Make sure you sign up for the Patreon. Link is down in the description below.